Let's do some reverse action here. This is where I had to cross to get the drone that crashed today. It crashed down over here along these trees in here flying really really low and it got caught in it and this is the Cashwitna River and I said for almost a thousand dollars this guy is gonna go all the way around a few miles down the road another couple miles down another road over here a couple miles and I'm gonna walk in to where there's normally a beaver dam a sandbar across here and I'm going to walk this whole thing and skinny dip if I have to. And I'm going to swim it because I'm going to get that drone. I was hoping it didn't hit the water. It landed less than two feet from the water. So anyway, that's where uh, I did get wet though. Uh, the beaver dam was, was blown out. I mean, it, it's not even there. And, it, and it's a, quite a walk through the woods in the trail system there. But this is, this is a... Um, an update to a recharged battery and I came back out 15 miles to prove that this can be done without crashing and it is a little bit spooky because the, the, these are wild cliffs where they're falling away from underneath us and this goes into the big Susitna River and if it went in the water it would be toast period yummy delicious toast that's what i said Well, I'm on my own, I'm trying to find my way down to the Cashwitna River, which is up really far right now. And I crashed my drone, and thank God my friend Chris was here. He said, take this trail a few miles, we had to drive around. The Cashwitna is way too high and dangerous. Freezing cold, hypothermia, death, dangerous death. 
We've got underwear, socks. I got everything to replenish myself because I'm gonna swim. I, my drone crashed right on the other side of the river alongside this cliff here. And I'm gonna swim the river if I have to. Chris took off, he says, call him if he needs help. Well, might be dead by that time. There's a cliff. That's where I was shooting from, my boys. That's where I'm shooting from. So I need to find a sandbar. Never been here. I've never been here. Holy crap. <sighs> Shit. Oh boy. Well, there's where I was shooting from, boys. There's where I was shooting from. Oh, man. I was shooting up from that cliff up there. And it crashed around the corner. Here's the river. I mean, it's, it's, it's rocking. I mean, it's rocking. So some way I've got to get across here. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to let a brand new drone be stuck on the other side. And I don't know if it went in the water or not. It's got too close to the weeds and the trees. So, got too close to the weeds or whatever. There used to be a beaver dam down here. So the water's up really high. How many in the I don't know how I'm going to get across this. I don't know about drones. Well, I'm not going to take my phone, my keys, my wallet or anything with me. Through here, all this. I'm not going to get it all wet. They just find my dead body somewhere. I don't care. Oh. Why me? Why me? Anyway. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. From rescuing my drone, I went around the side where it had crashed up into a tree for some reason for obstacle avoidance. Obviously didn't work. And I went through the grass and hunted. It wasn't grass. It was not grass where I was at. It's completely thick, entangled brush with beavers that have cut trees off, and they're and they're like spears in the in this tall grass. So as you're as you're walking along, but way over your head and over a beaver dam, all of a sudden you just spear yourself. You know, you just fall right into a spear. I found a beaver stick here, and it has saved my life. Thank you. Thank you, stick. But I found my drone, and thank God, I mean, it didn't even have... A, a broken blade and it was literally this far from the water from hitting the water but it was upside down and it was hid in the in the, underneath the canopy of the trees in the brush where I'm completely walking where I am walking soaking wet up to my crotch so live or die I don't even know how this is recording. Thank God. This ordeal's over and I came out unscathed. Other than I, I got my best pair of tennis shoes wet. Got everything else. So, live or die, dude. I'm hoping to be able to even find my way out of here. It's, uh... Oh, brushy. Oh well, 
At least there's a plane. I didn't take my phone once I hit the river. I just swam the river and went around the whole thing seriously. And crossed the Beaver Dam. Almost got speared by where they cut off. See, they already got planes out looking for me. See that? How retarded. I'm here, I'm alive, it's cool. Anyway, I made it, thank God. If it wasn't for Chris being where he was right at the right time. I called him and he was down working, my friend Chris. And he said, take the trail this way, turn right, take the first left, go around the circle, find the beaver dam, which was washed out because the river's really rocking right now. And I had a, a approximate location where the drone crashed. I could not see it, of course, and but it stopped two feet from the water's edge. Thank God, because I just ordered a couple hundred more dollars in, in batteries. You can only fly this thing for about 12 or 12 minutes, 13 minutes. At 30%, it's gotta land. It's gotta find its home base and land. I think I'm going the right way. Here's a marker. I think that's it, yep. It's a stake, it's a corner, so it's the right, right trail. Okay, well I made it, just a little bit soaked. Okay, 